Hello everybody, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you an improved design from the I2C temperature sensor on the Nexus A7. Now it also includes um, a display for Celsius and Fahrenheit. All right, in Vivado, we have the same four modules that were in the previous design. I'll go through a couple of changes that were made in a couple of the modules. Um, and then you'll see the temp temperature converter module right here, which I just created three different modules to um, take the data that comes from the I2C master, which is Celsius data. And then following the, uh, the formula for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, uh, just using Verilog modules, we have multiply by nine, then we'll take that, divide it by five, and then add 32, and we'll have our Fahrenheit value. All right, no, uh, over here on the right, you'll see, or let me blow this up. There's no changes to this module at all from before. Using the same clock speeds for the I2C master, this um, module was only changed to improve it, really. I removed the reset. There really was no point to have a reset, so it was removed. Also, there was no point in outputting the SDA direction line, and it is now just a wire within the module. And then there were actually two always blocks in this design, and I found out that that's bad design because it can create race conditions and, and problems in your circuitry, so all logic was placed into one always block down here. Uh, now... The, uh, the seven segment display was changed. Uh, I removed the NAND signal, right? That was the four anodes that was not being used, but now they're being used. So the temperature converter is going to convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit and we'll input both of those eight bit values into the seven segment control. I need to um, do the binary to BCD conversions for both of them now. So now we have C10, C1, Fahrenheit 10, Fahrenheit 1, uh, C data, and F data. It's all for Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, added this parameter here so I can display the letter F on the seven segment displays. Um, the changes here to anode select. Now instead of just selecting the four, anodes now I need to select all eight so now that's how um, this change here you can notice for each value octal value of eight we are selecting one different anode with a zero and the logic down here we just need to before it just had the four um, digits using for the Celsius right we had the the C on the end the degree symbol uh, Celsius ones data and Celsius tens well now this is being expanded to the other four uh, seven segment displays with the letter F the degree signal uh, Fahrenheit ones and Fahrenheit tens being displayed here's a temperature converter just so you can see what it is it's a 8-bit value coming in is Celsius and 8-bit value Fahrenheit going out and it uses these three modules right here so we have multiply by nine, which just simply brings in the 8-bit value of the Celsius, multiplies it by nine, and then outputs a 16-bit value that is inputted to this divide by five. Uh, so we divide that 16-bit value by a constant of five, and we output that 8-bit value that continues on to this add 32 module, where we simply just add 32. And now this actual output from this add 32 is the uh, Fahrenheit value and so here's the top module uh, like I said I removed the reset and uh, changed the anodes we're going to use all eight of them now so there's no longer a NAN right an NAN and then there's uh, replaced wire data or W underscore data with Celsius data and that's the data that comes out of the I squared C master it goes into the seven segment uh, control and it also goes into the temperature converter and what comes out is the Fahrenheit data, which also goes into seven segment control. And then the Fahrenheit data, I just tied it to the, um, I'm gonna use all the LEDs. Before I just used eight LEDs, now I'm using all 16. So the high uh, numbers or the, the high order of the LEDs are gonna be the Fahrenheit data, because they're on the left, and I'm using the left seven segment displays for Fahrenheit, and Celsius data will be on the right. 
and uh, just send the constraints file, the changes, remove the button for the reset, and then add these uh, other eight LEDs in down here. Okay, once the project is synthesized, implemented, and the bitstream is generated, put on the board, you see what we have here. We have Celsius data on the right, Fahrenheit data on the left. I did raise this little switch here so you can see the cutoff where um, the LEDs for the Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit. So if you wanted to use that value, but you can see them right here. Each one on the seven segment displays, I can change it with my body heat again. Um, if you're interested in building this project, as always, I'll put the code on GitHub. Thanks for watching.